Hi, my name's Karen. I'm here to talk to you today about an electronic learning resource called Simple Machines. Simple Machines is appropriate for grades 2 through 4 and meets the California Science Frameworks for Physical Science Knowledge of Simple Machines. It's available for free on the internet, so let's take a look. Alright, so to access Simple Machines, you go to the website www.edheads.org. You can click on this pull-down menu here, Activity Choices. Uh, simple machines and it takes you right here. Click here to start. So let's go on in and now you can see we have two primary environments to explore. There's the house in which there are four rooms, garage, bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen. Um, there are some visual pictures accompanied by text to support English language learners or uh, beginning readers. Then there's also the tool shed. As you can see in the tool shed there are compound machines so Students would want to visit the house first and then probably move on to the tool shed after that. Oh, yeah. So we'll go to the garage first. We have an odd little character here who shows us around his house. You can see you can skip the introduction if you wish. So click on start. And now we can explore. So there is. Um, Students can explore this environment and really all the environments in the order in which they choose. So when you click on one of the machines, it prompts you with a question. How do you change a light bulb? So the first question relates to the object itself rather than the kind of machine it is. So there are some silly answers. If you get it wrong, get a buzzer, try again, get it wrong again. And it gives you, so if you get it wrong twice, it just gives you the correct answer. There's no sort of hint. So uh, it's either right or wrong, and you only get two chances. So continue, and then it asks what kind of simple machine it is. So first it asks about the object and its function, and then what kind of simple machine. So we're going to go ahead and click screw, which we get correct. So we get a nice little bell, a little bit of behaviorist there. And it, then it gives us some information. And you can see it's actually taking advantage of the technology of having moving video footage to demonstrate how the machine functions. One thing that I really like about this ELR is that it actually gets students thinking about the practical application of the things that they're learning. I myself learned, uh, learned a bit from this ELR because I hadn't really thought about, for example, a broom. It's a simple machine. I never thought of that. After the students have finished getting all the simple machines in one location, they then are sent to a scoring sheet. Let's look at that. This would be a great resource for a teacher to keep track of what students have learned. So it shows whether I got it correct or incorrect. It shows what I guessed. If I had gotten the wrong answer, it would have said which I had guessed instead. Um, and it shows the score. And then you can uh, you could print this. When we click on finish, it has the option of printing score or choosing another activity. We're going to briefly take a look at a few of the other environments. Um, there is the bedroom. Here we are in the kitchen. I've left the bedroom. Um, I'm going to let you hear the intro again. It's, this whole game has kind of a quirky sense of humor that I actually really appreciate. This is my kitchen. I don't eat much because I'm a robot, but it's still a nice room to hang out in, don't you think? Moving on to the tool shed. This is, I thought, kind of a neat chance to reinforce all the simple machines that we learned before and, and sort of take that a little bit, one step further. Wheelbarrow, drill, the stapler, and the can opener. Now we've clicked on the can opener and we can move to different parts of it. And now it's the same thing as before. So this is the final right answer. And now, here we have again taking advantage of the technology to show some video footage of the whole compound machine, all the simple machines working together. So to summarize, Simple Machine really has a lot to offer your students. A couple things that it doesn't offer, it doesn't have a lot of different areas for long-term exploration. This would really just be more of a summary activity once they've studied Simple Machines, perhaps an introductory activity. Um, but it would really only be spent in one or two periods, probably, or as a review tool. It also doesn't have a whole lot of scaffolding. It's really, you either know it or you don't, though there is the simple machines and then the compound machines and the tool shed. So there are two different levels there. I'd also like to show you what I perceive as one flaw that the makers of the game seem to have overlooked. Uh, here it is. So we're in the tool shed, and here we go. Tells us what each one is. 
It's nice that it gives us the name, but watch. As you can see, there's quite a lot of opportunity for sound play um, that I could see my students getting quite caught up in. Uh, so just something to keep an eye out, but certainly not a prohibitive factor. So I hope you enjoy the resource and thanks for watching.